Hello, my lovely Libra. How are you, loves? I hope everybody's well. Libra loves, welcome to your weekly reading, weekly energy, sun, moon, rising signs, and Venus science. Take what mostly speaks, connects, and resonates. And of course, leave what doesn't. We have today a new moon in Taurus as well. Taurus is ruled by Venus as you, Libra, are. All about romance. Let's see what this new moon brings to us and how we can ground those energies. An overarching energy for the week. Six of coins, six of pentacles. Again, there is something here which you need to balance. Looks like you love or seeking balance could be in finance, could be in relationships. For some of you, there is two jobs you're working on and you try to give it time for each. For others of you, like you, you try to combine your free time with something else. Ace of Cups. Again, there is all about balance. It could be emotional balance, but also speak something new coming up. Let's see what this is about. Libra, Page of Cups world ten of pentacles knight of pentacles two of swords there's something here you do eight of swords my apologies there's something here you don't see coming because it's kind of way too slow nine of pentacles ten of swords Four of Wands and Death. All right. There's coming something quite different. You might deal at this time with a Cancer Scorpio Pisces or with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. And you feel like how I can do this to move forward. Because there is a lot of things here you need to deal with. But you can do it, loves. You can do it. Even you feel like you can't do it that. But you are able to change the things. With the death energy, you are able. Even you find yourself that you can't, Spirit says you always can do it. It's always a solution for the situations here. Maybe you need to change some things. Underneath the Ace of Cups, we have the Sun. Let's see. Let's clarify here the State of Cups. Page of Cups, clarifying please, for my Libra, Knight of Swords, Sun, and Knight of Cups. And Knight of Pentacles. Oof. The card doesn't want to try to flip over here, loves. Let's see. It's not often happens, but I feel here the energy is quite unbearable. Wow. Let's see. All the deck flipped over. Let's see. Here it is. And 
Knight of Pentacles, speak to me here, please. Fool. Queen of Wands. And Justice. And underneath we have the Hierophant. So here we are, loves. There's something here. Yens and something here moves forward to something. We have three knights here. The only knight is missing is knight of wands. The Sagittarian energy, the singleness energy. And I feel here that somebody here is leaving a drama energy behind. Eight of Swords, speak to me here. Hermit. Three of Pentacles. And the High Priestess. What didn't work? Four of Cups here. It's more likely what didn't work for us. Ten of Swords, Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups, and Moon. Too many lies. Too many things. Too much hurt. And also, I always battle between my mind and my heart. That's the thing here. That's the struggle. Somebody here is like, I wish I could take care of me more. I wish I could take care of my finances here more. And also speaks here that you can do it. You can make it. But you might need slow movement. For some of you here, you you could be back and forth here with certain people and every single time you've been in a relationship here with whoever was unbalanced and you've been seeking balance. And I feel here I'm speaking with a Libra here who is quite gorgeous, financially stable. But I think here in love, it's a little sketchy or always feel like if I prioritize work, I don't have love. If I prioritize love, I don't have work and money. And I feel here now, because it's kind of like, it's like either one, either work, either money. But I feel here now things are changing. And there's a Libra here who might do um, an energy work here. And this is all about relationships. But the first thing first, the relationship with the self to be in balance, to come in balance. Let's see here, the death energy, what's changing here? Also, I could speak here with a Libra who is quite picky. Every time trying to, to be in the perfection energy here. Or trying to perfection. But I gotta change. Now, you know, the death energy here. Temperance. 
which temperance very much speaks balance, peace, being patient, ace of wands, seven of wands, And the hangman and lovers it's kind of like you know what you gotta do to get what you want you do know but it's kind of the the thing here will you act upon it or not Take your time. That's what the spirit says. Take your time, loves. Because the next card we have three of swords here. Which very much speaks about heartbreak. And I feel here this time you will take quite slow and quite different approach here for example if you had certain relationships here that they came into your life and they seem like very promising but at this time is like putting the quality over quantity kind of a thing And there is an approach here between your heart and your mind. There's as well here the passion energy that needs to be balanced. So, my lovely Libra. I feel here you do attract quick love with your personality, but at this time you want to attract love who will stay, who will be there for you, and who will move into the next level, because you know, it's quick to attract somebody, it's harder to keep that energy around you and I feel here now is that thing let's see here what the universe wanted you to know or what's the energy here you need to pay attention or what's the advice two of cups that very much speaks about love page of swords judgment and Knight of Wands. For some of you, you are moving towards a Sagittarian energy, but all the knights in this reading very much speaks about a lot of movement and could be in love. Make sure it's stable, grounded. For some of you, yes, you could leave something behind. But I feel here, whatever is coming here, you know it's a soulmate energy. It could be past life so, uh, soulmate. And quite different. It's like this time I will do different relationships or differently. Because I know for sure what I want to for myself for some of you there is coming somebody quite older than you are or quite different than what you are or who you are could be the way we see relationships are different But yeah. 
So Libra, leaving something behind will bring you the one. And judgment, this is a lesson learned, an awakening. Because as the spirit says, take your time, whatever it is. Heal the past relationships. And then you'll see. So yes, loves, that's what I got for you. I hope this speaks to you, connects, and... Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. And if you feel that it's your story, please comment below. See you next time. Namaste.